channel so today i'm going to be filming a lip product review so i'm really excited for this video and hope you guys enjoy let's go okay guys so i have this little bag and i put all the lip products i could find i think i'm actually missing like a couple important ones like i don't have aquaphor here but it's okay you guys can look for yourselves can you see that? yeah there's a bunch of them so anyways let's go okay first one Oh, okay, this is the Tower 28, um, what is this even called? I don't even know, it's just like the Tower 28 lip gloss. This is in the shade, it's Tower 28 lip jelly. This is in the shade XOXO, so let's go ahead and try this out. Mmm, okay. Mmm. This is nice, it gives a good color, I feel like. And the application is really nice. So, this is maybe if you want a little more color, but it applies on really smooth and really nice. So, there's five, um, like, rankings, so I'm gonna put this in number two. Next one. Ooh, Fenty Beauty. What is this one? I don't know what this is called. I've had this for actually a while. It's like an eh, applicator, but this color is kind of mauve, shiny kind of color. Mm, okay. This one's kind of similar to the Tower 28 one. I think it's a little thicker, though. So if you want that kind of glittery type of thing, this is nice. So this is going to go in number three category, I think. Yeah. Alrighty. Well, let's choose the next one. Okay. <laughs> I put this just like regular, like classic chapstick. Let's try it. It's just like clear. Okay. So upon application, it's, it's not bad. My lips feel hydrated. I wouldn't reach for this unless my lips were like really chapped so we're gonna have to go in like this is gonna have to go in four all right next one. Oh, okay this is um like a not really tiktok favorite but just like this is the summer fridays lip butter balm in the flavor sweet mint let's go ahead and try it out also i'm pretty sure i've like tried most of these so it's not my first time but smell it smells minty doesn't smell it doesn't smell Altoid minty, it smells extra polar ice gum type of minty, if you want to know. Mmm, um, this is nice. Application is so smooth. Right now, I don't feel any really mintiness. It's not bad. I'm starting to feel a little tingle now, and I don't like plumping things, I don't like tingling things, so I'm going to take it off. It just feels like it feels kind of like cooling. Okay, I wouldn't reach for it, I'm going to have to give it four. I don't, I don't like the mint. It's lingering too. Oh my gosh. Got the sister to the last um, product. So this is the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. So the same product as the other one, but this is in the flavor vanilla. And this one, oh my God, it's so nice. Instantly hydrated. Instantly hydrated. It's so good. Yeah, I really like this one. This one, I gotta give it number one. It's, it's just so good. And choose, oh, I like this one. Ooh, okay. This one was popular. This is the Dior Lip Glow Oil. Um, this is the color 007 Raspberry. Um, I mean, off the bat price point, I think it's like almost $40 or something. I'll put a picture of it on the screen, but like, it's just expensive. It does have a fat applicator, like, Right off the bat color is not overpowering it's honestly just clear with like a little tint nice sheen too thicker than the summer fridays so i'm gonna give this one three i think yeah i'll give it a three we're running a bit lower okay this is the glossier bomb.com in the flavor coconut so these are really popular. This is actually the old formula because it still has this little cap on because they have a new formula now. Okay, it definitely smells coconutty, so it's fine. I don't love coconut though, but I don't mind it. It's kind of giving aquaphor with some with some scent. So I think I'm gonna have to go in the middle. So like a three, I think. Not bad, but not the best. 
Okay. I put this in here just because I don't even know. Just why not? Um, this is the CeraVe healing ointment. Wait, hold on. This is a healing ointment? Skin protectant? Why have I been using this like it's Aquaphor? Because it, it, I, I swear this is... Okay, you can kind of see that. It like looks like it's like that type of jelly stuff. Anyways, we're not going to rate this because apparently it's actually healing ointment. Yeah, I've been using it on my lips. Oh, this one is also really popular. This is the Laneige um, Lip Glowy Balm, and this is in the scent Peach. Okay, this actually has a little bit of color. I keep forgetting this. It's like a peachy color. Mm. You're like this. And also, when you go like this. Bruh. Like, it's so buttery smooth. Like I, like, I feel like it's just, like, gliding on. So. Sure. I'm going to have to give this number two. Ooh, okay. This is a random one that I put in. This one's just, like, this one's from the brand Higher Education, I guess. It's, like, a lip balm. So, it's called the Higher Education Makeout Ready. The sunscreen lip balm. It's vegan. Has SPF 15. It's kind of giving... Something you get at Whole Foods. Let's try it out, though. Okay. Number one. <laughs> Why does it look like that? It's, like, yellow, and it's, like, it's, like, crap. I use this, like, once or twice, and it's, like, literally crap. Smell is not. <sighs> I don't know. Let's try it. It's really thin. It's like not as buttery as like the glosses, I guess, like Summer Fridays and Laneige. I don't know. It's just not really giving me good vibes. I think it's just the scent, but I'm going to give this a five. I just, no. Alrighty, next one. Oh, okay. I don't know why I rubbed off. This is the Laneige sleeping mask. Can you see that? Um, this is the Laneige sleeping mask in the flavor grape. I don't love grape smell. It doesn't smell bad though. I don't love things in the pot because you have to like kind of scoop it on use your finger, which I just think it's a little. Mm. It's thicker than this one, but it's not too thick where it's like my lips are like sticking together. And I, I don't know, I've worn this when I've had really chapped lips and it's like literally done nothing. So yeah, it's not bad though. So I'm just gonna put it in the middle. We're gonna go with three. Not bad, but not my favorite. Okay. This is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Kiss Koopa Koo Lip Butter. It's like a lip balm, but in this like big thick stick. The smell, it doesn't, I wouldn't, okay. I think they're trying to make it smell like they're like Original one, I don't know if it, I think it may be 62. I don't really know the numbers, right? But it smells okay. It's not great. I like the big applicator. It's definitely thinner because it's a lip balm. I don't know. I feel like this wouldn't really make my lips hydrated if they were really chapped. I'm, I'm gonna have to give this one a four. So. Okay, so this is kind of, I don't really know how to put this, like a quarantine type of thing. This is just what I remember it from. This is from the brand Winky Lux. Um, I'll put a picture on screen of, like, the packaging and stuff. This is a little, like, here. Yeah, so it's the, like, lipstick type of thing that has the flower inside it. Um, it's supposed to, like, change color when you, like, put it on your lips or something. I don't really know, but here. So it's just clear, as you can see, and then when you put it on. So this is my lips before. Before. But as you can see, here's the after. Yeah, so it definitely gets some um, colored. Like, I would not wear this on a daily basis because I don't like having my lips be so, like, pink slash red. Mm, just no. So this is going to have to go in the five just because I don't like colored things. And when would I ever wear this? Okay, we're ending off with a Burt's Bees pink pomegranate flavored chapstick. <clears throat> definitely smells like a sweet grapefruit type of thing. But it's thin enough, but it still has a good layer. I don't know if I like the smell though, actually. When I put it on my lips, it kind of like, it's like really going up into my nostrils. And it's kind of strong. So we're gonna have to go with four, just cause not the best, but like. 
it is what it is. I hope that you guys enjoyed my review of all the lip products and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.